remember my Electrolux ZA65 that we built out of scrap parts and two machines and a replaceable handle and had a jolly good time with and were perfectly happy with and didn't need anything more than this machine? Well, I've just come home from work with four of them. That was stupid, wasn't it? And this Hoover 427, which looks remarkably clean. Let's have a look at my oopsie decision. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yeah, there was a post on a Facebook group from some lady clearing out her sadly deceased parents' house. And there was a picture of a couple of these Electroluxes, you know. Oh, does anybody want these? Please, you know, come and take them from me. You see these posts all the time. But this particular one was 12 miles, not even that from my office so half past four today off i went and spent an hour hunting through the very nice ladies parents very big house and yeah we found all of these and there is a flip load of tools over there as well we're probably going to do this hoover in a separate video i don't know i'll see how long this ends up being but yeah we yeah we'll keep it mildly about the electrolux although oh look at that nice VT Volex plug clone on the 427. That's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, we have these machines, and I don't fully know where to begin. I don't know how we're going to work out which one's which once we've worked out if there's any issues with them. Why for, you ask? Well, the lady said that her parents just used to pick them up. I get the dirt cheap, and I think back in the 80s, these would have gone through there. Oh my God, just please take it, please. And hey, you always need spare parts, so I know one of them will run because they were using it. I don't know which one. I'm also thinking I should probably put the filthy mat down because they're all going to need emptying. So let's get set up and we'll chain gang them one at a time, work out what's wrong. We'll turn them on because they're in spoiler alert. They all came with some cables, so we'll pick the best looking cable of the bunch and start with the machines and then we'll go through all the tools and the rest of the cable. So we have I think three cables and immediately there is one that we're probably not going to be using. Look it's done what they all do. Oh fucking the light. It's done what they do. It's just dry rotting and oh yeah look literally falling apart in my hand. But the end is very good and where is it? It has a very nice, it's a later style because these bits are longer, MK plug look in brown, not, not chipped at all. You don't call those things chips. You call those fires. So yeah, that is fit for spares. That's fine. Then there's this cable, which has a very nice, is that a sort of early MK tough plug? Yeah, it's, it's, it, I think they were marketed as chunky plugs, but yeah, nice. MK plug on there. This cable looks an awful lot shorter, I'll be honest. And sadly, with all of these, they've dry rotted on them all. But we also have a nice plug. And I was going to use this cable. And I just cast this one aside because it's very nice. It's very long. In fact, it's, I mean, it, it is perish, but its core protector is the best. But then I saw this. And this is probably going to come off of these. And I'm going to clean it up and put it on eBay. There's a flipping BBC MK plug on this random, you know, I was about to go in the skip part of vacuum cleaners, because these were, uh, you know, the lady bless her, she was being very good at making sure that people got the right things. There were a lot of Kemper chefs there, their old man used to play around with those, so somebody came and filled a transit van full of Kemba Shepherds, Morris Miner stuff, they all went off and yes, he posted on it. It was an American based group actually. You're probably watching this. You might have seen it if you're in the Facebook group. And yeah, just up your right. So we're gonna use this cable, but no, screw it. We're gonna use the BBC plug because that's just amazing. Yeah, you will probably see this on eBay soon because ha, oh, that looks very nice. So let's start with this one. This is an an extra lux. An extra lux. That one says Electrolux, yeah, so we've got the Electrolux. I mean, yeah, these are all in various stages of use. If we crack open the front housing, now just talking to the front housing, yeah, a lot of these have varying degrees of this happening to the corners. So, eh, 
can't be helped. This one, ooh, we have, ooh, I have a sticker. For convenience and hygiene, use electric throwaway paper dust bags. Change air purifying pad at least four times a year. Blimey, I suppose because you were using rubbish single layered paper bags. That was why, and yeah, well actually there is a rubbish single layered paper bag and ooh, nearly dropped it. Beautifully conditioned Electrolux in here. I actually want to take it out because I, I had a sneak peek because the funnel fell off of one of them in the car. One of them doesn't have it in the bag. So maybe if this one runs, this one can be the one that we'll use to sort of human caterpillar disgustingly clean out the other ones. Because, eh, why not? One of them was in use. One of them was plugged in upstairs. So, you know, and I think they're probably all going to run. This is all in excellent condition. The handles on all of them, actually, are beautiful. Although, having looked a bit closer, this one has been replaced. I mean, it's been replaced with rivets. They're, largely one of the sheds was full of tools. As you know, on mine, I had to cheat a bit because I don't own a decent rivet gun. So we use these removable, you can unscrew and pose this, but little, little coach bolts that go into the handle. And again, it does the same job, it looks the same, although mine doesn't actually look as clean as some of the other ones. So that's interesting. So yeah, okay, handle's been repaired. I mean, it's an Electrolux Z65. It's not going to have not been repaired at some point, is it? Right. <laughs> Back filter is off. The circuit is still in place. Check nothing's going to crawl out of them because these were full of spiders. One well, of the, the Hoover was. And we don't have a back filter at all. So fair enough, we can pop this back on. I don't think these break too much. If you broke that back filter cover, you would break the entire machine. So, you know, I think that's going to be fine. So maybe we will crack some cables out because this works. I can go plug it in somewhere else and keep my RCD protector socket friendly. Right. Oh, right. It's already turned on. Oh, wow. Yeah. A little bit dry, but blimey, that's got excellent airflow. Fantastic. So, we have one working machine. And yeah, it's not in bad condition. It's a little bit faded, but there's no scuff. You know, this is all smooth and shiny and good. Right. Number one done. Let's pick the next one off the pile. So, this is an Electrolux, or a sort of a Culluxtrolux, that's how I say Electrolux, or almost, it just about says Electrolux. Yeah, it's an Electrolux Z65. This one, we didn't actually look at the sleds on the other one. I'm sure they're fine. This one has lovely sleds, however, this front part has got a bit rusty, but yeah, you could take that off. It only screws in and sorts it out. These front clips are in excellent condition. They would wash up very nice, which is almost a little bit of a shame that, I don't know if I can show it on camera, but this top part looks a bit ripply to me. I don't know whether that's just the dirt on it or how it's sitting. But yeah, we have this one. Um, don't think it's got a post motor filter either. Let's really plug it straight in first before we have a look at the bag, because the last one fires straight up. Oh yeah, look at that! Mm -hmm. Not such good airflow, although it's still not bad. Or oh, I have noticed there is a little chippy chip on the back of the case, so you know you can damage these if you really try. But you'd have to really try. And I don't know, really. I might say that these rivets look a bit more original. There's certainly no scent of it poking out of them. And the head is a bit smaller, so who knows? I can already see a paper bag in the camera, so that's promising. Yeah, oh, another paper bag and another inner ring as well. Yeah, this paper bag is very full, very clean inside. A little bit of surface for starting, but not too bad. I'm going to start taking these paper bags out because you know, even though it's going to be a little while before I get these refurbished, I don't want them to sit with lots of old dirt. Look, it's a uni fit. <laughs> Dirty, disgusting, single wall paper bag. Ugh, we won't have one of those. Yeah, look, this is this is quite dusty. I'm going to leave it for now because I'll wash all of these at some point. And again, it could be stored a bit better before I get around to maybe refurbishing a couple. I don't know, really. I've got clipping four of them. 
somebody wants one as just a project as is, do let me know. Right, this is probably going to have a bit better air for yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm turning the switch off every time because I don't want it to short out as I pull the pins through because it's, it's a little bit thin. It's just pulling the plug in and out. So, this one works. Its bag has been removed. On to the next one in the pile. Oh, the bag retaining clip fell out. We'll put that by there. We've got a whole bag of rubbish to go through. On to this one, which is an Electrolux Z65. And these two that are coming up now are the best cosmetically at the glance that I have given them. The tops are not really dinged up. I think I've already got buyers for these nicer ones. So, sorry, folks. But... Ooh. Oh, it's got a metal back. Is this from this machine? Experts, tell me down below. Another one with no post filter. And oh, the back is just starting to, oh, that way, just starting to split on there. I wonder if that's this filter. It looks legit. I reckon this is from another Electrolux, you know, like, because they use this design quite a lot. Yeah, and I reckon the way that's being so tight, it is pulling the plastic apart. That's interesting, but quite cool. This one and the other one, cleaner one, would have come from the loft. And <laughs> well, let's send this video to the original owner, and she must have thought, what the heck, as I tried to squeeze through this tiny little loft hatch to pull this and a load of tools out from the ether. Was it worth it? Dry bearing here, yeah, these have all been sat for a long, long time. But run beautifully. Yeah, these front bumpers are okay, just let's see. What horrors lurk in here? The I'm turning one first. It's to kill any spiders. Well, no in a bag, but thankfully the bag ring. So that's cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is, that is spot hotless. Very nice indeed. I'll put that back on there. Put that back in there. Yeah, even these front plates are really, really clean. So I don't know if they all got used or if he just, you know, saw a couple and went, oh, I'll take them for spares. As you do. But of course, these vacuums never break. So you don't really need spares unless you physically destroy it. This one is, yeah, the second clean one. Very nice up top. And yeah, these are the original rivets. Because they're a completely different style to the replacement ones. This one does have it as well. I have just looked. And, ah, this one's got a metal base as well. There must be a different like mark. So this one, and then this one. So I presume, and again, comment down below, that this one is uh, later than this one. This one is earlier than this one. I don't know. <laughs> comment down below, really. They look identical otherwise. Let's hope that this hasn't started doing the same thing to the plastic. Oh, this one's got its filter. The original filter, which doesn't look... Bad. I mean, don't forget, this is probably older than my average channel demographic by a good couple of decades, you know, so that's fair enough. And yet, oh, this one, oh, this one not only isn't broken, but look, it has some sort of, you know, fibre, cardboard, asbestos insulation layer behind the motor. So that's pretty cool. This one's definitely the most original and the most nicest. And maybe, maybe I just keep this one and sell my one and have a slightly better one. I don't know really, I haven't, I haven't really found any of this, but we did it and it's here. So, oh my goodness, I'll screw you up off camera. So, they all run, of course they do, why wouldn't they? But they're not really much good without some accessories. So, let's get started on that massive pile of stuff. Just there look, can you see it? Yeah. Right, on to hoses and we have ourselves a couple. Um, one of them was plugged into one of them, but let's be honest, they're all to play for here. We have, I think every one is different. Or No, these two are the same. Just look, one is mint and one is not mint. Yeah, look. Although, actually, you know, both the ends have done the same pinky thing. Yeah, the plastic starts to leak 
as it does. And they've all twisted. The problem is they're not glued down really, so they all twist. So that's how they're supposed to sit. I mean, it'll go back as it was before very quickly. These two, yeah, look, they've been used as chisels. Where are we? Yeah, there we go. We'll do two at a time because I've got these two in my hand now. And yeah, we have ourselves some very nice hoses. One is pretty mint. I do not know if these hold air. We are now on the bit of the video where we do things together. So I have the bagged one fitted. We're going to clip this hose on. Well, you know, the end's a bit dented. That's a bit of a show. And see what it's like. Yeah, I'm going to say that's fine. But you can see it come like shrink up. I'm going to say that hose works well. Oh yeah, two for two. Well, two out of four, anyway. So they, well, actually, no, it's two out of three, as Meatloaf did once say. Because this, again, beautiful, gorgeous one, hasn't got an end on it. This came from the garage, and it obviously had an end on it. It's also really large. This is pretty much the same weight as the crush proof hose. This end weighs more than the hose. In fact, this one's quite light as well. So again, are we talking? different generations because here's the difference between these two and this white one is much lighter than these two so oh gosh so many questions so yeah, i don't know why we haven't got it it does fit although it's a bit seized up and needs a bit of oil yeah i'd almost say oh think of the ends that you can put onto that nice virgin hose but let's be honest the genuine end on a 65 is beautiful as it is this one is in immaculate condition please be airtight yeah yeah i think it's actually this the connects a bit actually, but hey that's fine because it's going to be difficult to clip the floor without some form of extension shoe and we have three we have this single piece extension shoe which is genuine i, I do believe it's genuine the rolled end is certainly something i've seen from the 70s electrolux my z 302 has this dial, I think, but nothing to do with these, but of course it does fit. Oh. Then there's these two. These are genuine Electrolux extension ones from, God, it's got to be the 1960s, <laughs> untwist that, extend it any width you want, so you know, if you're a midget you can just have it like that, and again, don't forget this is also very long in itself so that probably would be excellent or you can give it an anti-clockwise put it through twist and leave it and this one's quite shiny i don't know if the camera's gonna pick up on how reflective that is but yeah very shiny indeed it also had a sticker on it and we're never going to know what that stick is going to say which is a big shame and it would be an awful shame if it wasn't for the fact that this second one has a much better condition sticker on it. It's, it's more matte finish than the other one. It also glides freely, you know, a bit of a wash. I mean, they do come apart. I twisted on it until it came off. And yeah, that bit comes off. And there's a little bit of a ridge on there, so it has to come up the other way. And then that bit is clipped on. I'm not going to clip it off yet because I don't want to break it. But yeah, there is in there a little clip. And yeah, it has its original sticker telescopic tube i'm gonna to have to hold this closer to adjust hold this tube and twist fluted ring to loosen to tighten with some lovely little arms so yeah nice original touch there so we can now reach with our vacuum very cool indeed we'll put this in the pile of we know what the heck it is so, I mean, obviously, we can't really clean like this. This end will end up like the end of this wand. 
So at this home, sadly. So it is time to have a look. Oh my goodness. In here. Now most of this bag was already prepared when I got there. We found a few bits and bobs here and there. But <laughs> not even I know fully what's in here. So we have this floor head with the narrow. And again, a bit of a theme here because I've got both of these heads, a wider one and the narrow one. This one is the earlier head, I think. And yeah, it's got some very nice bristles. I think this one was in the shed. I can't remember now. And then, oh yeah, it moves beautifully. So, and it's also got this weird, I've got one of these. I've never known what the heck it goes with. Because, yeah, I always plug that in there. And that's absolutely perfect. Yeah. This could be a really nice head, actually. Maybe we can use a different Electrolux Z65 every month for four months. And then, yeah, then you add this to it. And, well, it, oh gosh, no. No, okay, that obviously wasn't on the... Yeah, what is this for? Comment down below. What is this silly little adapter thing for? So that's there. Yeah, this head works fine. Here is another head. Oh, it's a little bit... It's not actually broken, but this inner bush has come out. But it seems fine. It... Looks clean inside. Oh, actually, oh, oh, no, something, something's not quite right with that. That that shouldn't come up that far, and that bit shouldn't come up that far either. So this might be a spare's head. I'll be honest. We have a crevice tool in Z65 red. Very nice indeed. Right, we're just going to take tools out and have a look at them because I don't fully know what's in here. We have ourselves. Ah, this will be for the 427 down here. That is a Hoover Pit Fit crevice tool. We have another Z65 crevice tool. We have this and this. These are in the shed. Part of me thinks that they're just pattern, non-genuine tools. But, you know, they're here. They can join the party off. They're 32 millimeters, so, well, that one is anyway. Yeah, they're both 32 millimeters, so we'll put them in the pile, but, who knows? Then, yeah, look at it. Well, in fact, there's three heads. Let's get all three out, because why not? So, yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five floor heads. And three of them are this narrow type. Oh, I mean, someone's given that a good old scrub-a-dub-dub, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, these, these are in the loft, because I can see the loft insulation. But, hey, yep, yeah, they work fine. Clickety-click, nothing wrong with that one. This one, yeah, very good. Clickety click, yeah, that'll wash up. Okay, all the grit gets in the springs. You don't want to take these fully apart. You take the base plate off and then just wash everything carefully. This cover comes off. I've never been able to get the actual mechanism to ever go back together. I broke one of the Barton's heads by doing that. Annoyingly, that nice one that worked the same as that is no more. Then we have, oh, oh look, another tool for the 427. Very nice. Oh, smash. This butterfly tool, this grey butterfly tool, and this red butterfly tool. Oh, and this, oh wow, this definitely goes with this this tool. Very yellow, very faded upholstery tool. Wow. So yeah, that is all of the Electrolux tools, and if I just get out of the way so you can actually see them, all of the Electrolux tools that I got from this lady's house. And they all work, of course they all work. They're the Electrolux. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find the best one, put the best tools with it, and be, you know, best of everything, and we'll have a vacuum with one at least looking, because, you know, it's quite clear. Why don't we give it a bit of a wipe down now? It's this one. this one, I reckon. I, mean, I haven't got. Do I have spray with me? Oh, I've got sif, but we don't want to get sif onto this vinyl. So yeah, a bit of a wipe down. It all should all come apart and get washed. Whether I do it or not, I don't know. So yeah, let's. I don't know where I'm going to put this yet. Oh my god, why did I do this? Let's finish the video with a nice vacuuming session, really. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, if we want to do this, we're going to have to swappy swappy because the reason we're using this one is because it's in the bag, isn't it? There we go. Cool. 
Look at that big bag. Right, that can go on. Of course, you're not going to line up now, are you? Why are you not going to line up now? Come on. There we go. Marvellous. Right. And there we go. We have a nice, fairly complete with its two tools that you can't see, Electrolux Z65. With all of its tools, the mintest hose and the bag that is fitted. Z65s when I only really want one. And yeah, we'll probably do something with it. Oh look, the 427 is trying to sneak in. No, you can have your video later. Yeah, there. Um, there's everything. My machine's in there as well. I try to rank them in best to worst, but like cosmetic condition. Because although mine is fully refurbished, I forgot that it did, did have all this spatter on it, which is also a bit annoying, you know, you can get over it. I think well, this one is pretty mint, you know, pending a refurb, pending a refurb. This one is bodily good, will clean up, bodily good, will clean up. Mine with the spit of spray and the handle. And then this one, there's a dent there that I've just noticed. And it's quite dirty. And it's got that ripply back. We have our three hoses. We have our different areas of head. And we have all the tools. And that's, you know, before we even get to my own. Z65 tools. I mean, I know these aren't the original ones for mine and weren't anyway, so that's fine. But mine came with a crevice tool. Mine has both. Ooh, a plastic ended one compared to metal. So there we go, another clue. Blimey, Electrolux. What did you do? And then my very clean version of that. Um, I have my dusting brush, which isn't as faded as that one at all so there we go there's a thing and mine has and actually if i stick it on my crevice tool i'll know the radiator brush as well and i do have my hose somewhere i haven't got it out for this because a it's buried b well we've got three flipping hoses we know what an actual hose looks like so we have four hoses for five machines that's nearly one for one and if we add all of the other tools that i got with the machine Maybe not those. Bless them. And you know, hey, this hose, which can have an end for two, that's then a bit more of a complete set. Oh, jump over the electroluxes. And yeah, that is what you get when you are living close to a house that is being cleared out. And the person clearing the house out takes the time to hunt out somebody to give these a good home. Am I the person to give these a good home? No, I'm not. Mm. I'm not going to lie. I'll be quite honest with that anyway. So, I'm probably going to get rid of these very cheaply. I don't want to profit too much. If they get a refurb, obviously, I shall charge for the refurb. But otherwise, I mean, there's already been a couple of inquiries about a couple of them. So, yeah. They shouldn't hang around long. We can save them. And they didn't go in a skip. So, do you love
Z65s. If you don't, then I'm, I'm, I'm sorry you've hated this video. I hope you enjoy the next one. But if you do like Electrolux Z65s, I hope you have enjoyed. And I, and possibly some of these, will see you soon. Bye-bye.